Hey YouTube, Moosecap here. Um, I did a couple of videos and I was talking about this uh, new accessory for my AR and I was kind of excited about it and I was kind of building it up. Well, it finally came in the mail today. So I decided to do a review on it and uh, it is the uh, KZ 3-in-1 sling mount. There it is. And I believe the KZ stands for like Kylie Zion or something like that, but we'll just call it KZ. Um, now, if you click on KZUSA.com, uh, it's going to redirect the website to Boltash Tactical or Boltash.com. I believe KZ is their like sister company. So um, you could actually find this uh, on, well, I could only find it on Boltash Tactical. And uh, I also find it on eBay, but that was about it. But uh, yeah, you guys, if you guys haven't heard of Botash, you guys might want to check it out. They're out, they're uh, out of uh, Los Angeles, and uh, thing about their website is uh, everything is free shipping. Even if you buy one item or ten item, no matter the amount, it's free shipping. So that was, that's pretty cool. So, anyways, and here is. Sing it out there. Yeah, this is this is KZ right there, and uh, this is three in one because obviously you could hook um, your sling attachment there, and there's a quick detach on top. And if you just had if you didn't have any of those attachments, you just had a sling, you could also loop it through here. I don't know if anybody would do that, but hey. You, you can if you wanted to. I think most people are going to do the quick detach or just the clip on uh, sling uh, mount. Use it that way. And uh, on the website, um, you didn't specify the. Um, it didn't give you like specific specification on, on, on size and all that, so we'll just do that real quick. Okay. So width wise, we are looking at just hair over three quarters of an inch. Length wise, two and a quarter. Yeah, we'll just call it that two and a quarter. Oh, maybe we'll call it maybe this way too. Depth wise, uh, uh, it's somewhere in between half an inch and three quarters of an inch. Let me see. Yeah. So you could. I got my uh, upper here for my MMP Sport. And, uh,. And this goes on all, all Picatinny rails. It's cap, captured by this this nut here. So you can go in this way. Could have it pointing down. I'll probably have it pointing. I, I'm gonna probably most likely have it like this. Put it on real, just hand tighten it. Just see if we can take a look at what it looks like. Yeah. I think it looks pretty good. I like it. I haven't obviously used it, so. But uh, this is just a tabletop review. Now I seen uh, another video by Musty Yeti. 
and he has one uh, similar to this and I believe it's from Spikes Tactical but I actually like this one better because the one from Spikes Tac Tactical looks very similar to this only thing is the quick detach is on this side and so the way he mounted it was on top like this with a quick detach over here and the I mean the uh, the spikes tactical um, I think theirs is called two in one it, it was a quick detach or like the loop or the clip type so the clip is on one side and the quick detach is on this side and with that it, it I, I like that one too only thing is like and he's he has a top um, Picatinny rail and he's mounted it that way one thing is that if you decide to go, you know, switch sw uh, swing or anything, you'll, then you'll have to take it off the Picatinny rail, reverse it, and then put it on that way. Um, but that one has an advantage that it was very low prof profile. Check out his review on that one. It, you know, he does a pretty good review. Um, it, but yeah, that one is very low profile. So if you if you had like a low optic or something like that it would just slide it was pretty pretty much almost in line with the with the top of the picatinny rail so it's very low profile i think it just came up a little bit this one yeah it does go up a little bit higher but i'm not i can't put anything on top anyways i, I was i would attach it on the side here so to me this works better because i could attach quick attach that way i could do a clip if i want to I mean, who needs two different type of points, but I'm just, I don't know, it's just a nice option to have. If you have a malfunction with your, say, if you're in a rifle class or something and you have a malfunction with your sling, then if you need to borrow somebody else's, then you always have both options. And this is made out of um, uh, anodized aluminum. 60 something it's not the 70 71 or whatever it's a 60 whatever aluminum uh the shoe pretty sturdy yeah and i got it, it was so lightweight when i first picked it up i thought it was plastic and i was freaking out but then i and then it, and then quickly i realized oh this is aluminum so yeah i'm excited to try it out with my sling If you have any questions, comments, please leave below. Uh, please like the video and thanks for watching, guys. And I'll post another video um, of my completed uh, AR upgrade shortly. All right, thanks. Bye.